Well, welcome back to my studio. I don't know about you, but I know here where I am, we have been, as of tonight, at midnight, we're going to be under lockdown because of the COVID-19 virus. And, but we can still travel by our computers, internet, so I'm, you're here in my studio and welcome. I'm glad you came and visited today. My schedule really hasn't changed a lot since I work at home. I really, this is, I'm home alone a lot and I don't go out except to go to the grocery store or to the bank or church or whatever. So this really hasn't changed my schedule a lot, but I know a lot of you are not able to go to work. You're at home with your kids. And so this is just an opportunity you can Come and visit my studio for a little while. I am painting Black-Eyed Susans here in the front of this piece. This is a commission. If you've been following my blog, this is for a longtime collector. And this is her dream cottage. I showed you at the very beginning a picture of the full painting. It's a little craftsman cottage in the mountains. And it's fall and just early evening. And the dogs are out playing. These are Gina's dogs. Maddie is the Dalmatian and Phoebe is the Great Dane. She's actually a, a mix of Great Dane and I think you pronounce this Catahoula. Um, I'm not positive that's how you pronounce it, but that's that's the mix. And they're, they're out playing. The fire's in the fire pit. It's a cool evening. I imagine she's in the house cooking something, she's going to come out and sit by that fireplace, maybe bring some marshmallows and make some s'mores, marshmallows and chocolate and graham crackers. And so this is just, she wanted black-eyed Susans here. I originally just was going to have them around the mailbox, but as I got the painting further along and, and realized I really needed a little more color in this corner to give the painting some balance. If, if, if the left of the painting had all the tree and the flowers and everything, it, it would have felt like it was going to tip. So I've put the flowers here and she wanted some monarch butterflies. So I decided to I'll have the butterflies over here and that will help balance our painting. These are mixtures of cadmium yellow medium plus these, this here is cadmium yellow medium plus a little bit of my mud which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And then this mixture is cadmium yellow medium with a little cadmium orange and some alizarin crimson in there. And that just gives me a darker, richer color for the shadows of these flowers. So I paint my flowers first, or paint the masses of color for my flowers. And I'm using a bright brush that's got a big square shaped head, but then I can use the corner of that brush and make some of my finer, finer details. Now that I've got the yellows in there, get my tissue here. Now, I use tissue to clean my brush as I paint, and this has been a real challenge, getting enough tissue to paint with. I'm not a hoarder. Um, I actually use this for my work, so I've been my grocery store fortunately has curbside pickup so I can order ahead. I have to order out about a week ahead to get the toilet tissue but so far I've been able to get it so just as good I can keep on painting. Now I start bringing my greens in around the yellows and this is these greens are mixtures of ultramarine blue plus lemon yellow just different combinations in different proportions. And I just work my green in and around the color of the flowers. I do the flowers first because that color stays clean then when I come back with my green. As you can see how my brush has picked up the yellow on there. And if I were to paint the green first and then try to paint the yellow, it would that green would get into my brush and, and dirty my flower color. So 
the, you'll notice the perspective is a little bit off. I have to have the camera to the left of me so that you can see. I can't put it directly behind me because then you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. So this is, this is how I do this. But I just kind of smoosh that color around. I'll come back and define the flowers more. But now this is a mixture of my Thalo Blue plus liquid, and that just gives me a cool dark for in the depth of my flowers or in the shadows. Bring some of my leaves up here. These are crazy times right now, and I know everybody's, boy, concentrating on the news and just watching the news, and I can take the news for a little while, and then I just, if I start listening too long, I get too negative, so I have to switch the news off and just turn back my music, turn my music back on. It's just, you know, this is something that we can't change what's happening. We can change how we react to it. And we can either just choose to live in fear or choose to just say, okay, God, you have a plan. I know it's for our very best. And just help me to trust in you and help me to go on with life and see the joy in each and every day. And this is, this is a good chance for us to just concentrate on our blessings. I know years ago in 2004, Jack was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And his, I don't know if you're familiar, but PSA is one of the cancer indicators for prostate cancer. And Normal, normal levels on PSA in men is 0 to 4. And Jack's was 596. We happened to be in Scottsdale, Arizona at the time, and we went were at the Mayo Clinic, and they had never seen a PSA that high. And they told us they, they only gave Jack a few months to live. And it was a very scary time. We sat down, we prayed. And just ask the Lord to guide us and our doctors and his will be done. And then Jack said, Jack's a news, Jack was a news hound. I mean, we had the news on from when he first got up to when we went to bed, practically. He loved the news. He loved politics and, and all that. I'm, I'm more of an ostrich with my head in the sand. I prefer not to pay any attention if it's bad. So he... Um, he said, Mickey, he said, I've just, I need to get everything negative out of my life. We need to pray, and then I need to just concentrate on positive things. And so we began taking laugh breaks. We would watch The Honeymooners. We'd watch fun movies. And we just concentrated on positive. Laughter is the best medicine. Well... Instead of just living a few months, Jack lived 12 more years. He went through treatments, radiation, chemotherapy, and the, with the help of our Lord, I totally believe he directed this. Jack was, his can the cancer was in remission, and he lived 12 more years. So there's a lot to be said about thinking positive, and we just... Now's a wonderful time to do exactly that. We, you know, we can't control this, but we can control how we react to it. So now, back to my flowers. I'm going to start bringing in some of the details of my flowers. Again, these are Black Eyed Susans. And so I'm using a little bit smaller bright brush. That's again that square headed brush. And starting to add some 
of my petals. Now you notice, now this has picked up a little bit of that green on my brush with the, putting my petals there. I have to just gently lay the color on top of the, the green. See how that picked up the green on there? I think you can see that. So I have to keep wiping my brush. This is why I go through a lot of tissue. But I just can put that color on there. And I want it to have a lot of texture. I'm not going to just show you the entire this bed of flowers. I'm just going to do a small section here so you can see how I do the, the flowers. But I just lay that color on. Today's garbage day. You probably can hear the garbage truck out in the background. But this is how I do my flowers. Now I'm using I'll use a mixture for the centers. I'll use a mixture of my mud, which again is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And I've mixed liquid into that. And that gives me a nice dark for my centers. So I just can put those centers in the flowers. Take a little bit of my green with, just going to add a little bit of white into that. Need a little lighter mixture for some of, start putting some of my stems in there. And I let them break up over the grass. That gives the feeling of depth by having that grass showing through. Just helps give the feeling of depth in our painting. So that's how we do the flowers. And I'll continue this same process both on this side of the walkway and the other side. And you'll just, that's how we do the flowers. I really thank you for visiting the studio today. Please come back. And visit my blog. The link is in the description below. It's also in the final frame of my YouTube video. The address is. And on my blog I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting from the very beginning. And you'll be able to follow it to the very end as I finish it. So I hope you'll come visit my blog. Thank you for visiting my YouTube video. And please subscribe to both of them. The videos and the blog. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. I keep all of you in my prayers, and I so appreciate you, and just watch a fun movie today. One of our very, very favorites is My Cousin Vinny. Just wonderful, wonderful movie. So you have a great day, and thanks again.